Trump has caused international outrage by recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Who would do such a thing? Jerusalem is still the capital of Israel and must remain an undivided city accessible to all. As soon as I take office, I will begin the process of moving the United States ambassador to the city of Israel as chosen as its capital. I continue to say that uh, Jerusalem will be the capital of Israel, and I have said that before and I will say it again. And Jerusalem will remain the capital of Israel. Oh, but why is Trump doing this now? Why is he inflaming the Middle East and provoking an explosion of violence? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why would Muslims resort to violence? As we all know by now, Islam is a religion of peace. So, I mean, it's impossible. I don't understand. You're saying Muslims have so little control over their actions, they're just gonna flip out like animals. Sounds pretty Islamophobic to me. And I mean, it's not as if they're setting fire to their own neighborhoods and violently attacking Jewish restaurants. firing rockets into Israel. It's not like the leader of Hamas called for peace to be abandoned and for Palestinians to launch an uprising. It's not like the head of Hamas in Gaza literally called for terrorism. Islam's a religion of peace. That's impossible. It's not happening. These are reasonable people. It's not like they were massacring Jews in Jerusalem 20 years before Israel even existed. It's not like they've repeatedly called for Israel to be wiped from the pages of history. That's never happened. It's not like the Palestinian Authority still refuses to acknowledge Israel's right to even exist. It's not like Muslims have launched violence against Jews for the sin of visiting Jewish holy sites for decades. It's not like Muslims used gravestones from Jewish cemeteries to pave their roads. None of that happened. These are reasonable people. There's no history whatsoever of them turning violent, and if they ever did, it could only be Donald Trump's fault. Not because they're anti-Semites who just hate Jewish people, they're reasonable. Also, Trump recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel is so reckless, it's unprecedented. It's not like Congress passed a law 22 years ago called the Jerusalem Embassy Act, which described Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Oh, it did. It's not like the US Senate voted 90 to zero that Jerusalem should remain the undivided capital of Israel just six months ago. Oh, it did. It's not like Bill Clinton came into office supporting the declaration of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Oh, he did. Yeah, but it's not like George W. Bush promised to move the US Embassy to Jerusalem. Oh, he did. But Trump's bad anyway, because he's... He's following through on his promise. That's bad. I mean, CNN literally says he's bad for keeping his promises, so I guess it must be true. Also, doesn't this just prove everyone right who said that Trump was a Nazi and literally Hitler? It is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Trump's bending over backwards to please Zionists and Jews, just like Hitler did. What? Yeah, anyway. Here's a list of groups and people furious at Trump's decision to move the embassy to Jerusalem. Turkey's Islamist president, Erdogan, Saudi King Salman bin Abdulaziz, ISIS, Hamas, globalist political leaders, virtually the entire political left, the mainstream media, totally erratic decision by this president, and Muslims in general, hashtag not all Muslims. What an upstanding alliance, I'm so proud to be a part of it. Erdogan was right when he accused Trump of throwing the region into a ring of fire, and he'd know all about that, having covertly provided direct military, financial and logistical support to ISIS for years. But what Trump's done is beyond insane. He's playing with fire. Hamas has threatened to open the gates of hell because they've never done that before. Oh, but aside from all that, how stupid, how stupid is it that Jerusalem could be considered the capital of Israel. It's not like Israel won a war or something to secure exactly that. It's not like Jerusalem is where the Prime Minister of Israel lives. It's not like Jerusalem is where all their government agencies are based. It's not like Jerusalem is where their parliament sits. It's not like Jerusalem was the capital of the Kingdom of Israel, the site of the Temple and the wellspring of Judaic thought for millennia. None of that is true. Islam is a religion of peace, and if any violence happens, it's Donald Trump's fault. Please click the big red button to subscribe. It really helps me when you do that. And click the bell to allow notifications so you never miss a new video.